Today we're taking a look at an inventor who claimed to invent the water-powered car. This man is Stanley Meyer. Meyer invented many things throughout his life. He would go on to apply for over 200,000 patents in his lifetime. The most well-known one being the water-powered car. So why did Stanley Meyer invent this car? In 1975 Saudi Arabia cut their oil supply to the United States, as a result, we had a nationwide shortage and gas prices skyrocketed. So Stanley Meyer saw great demand in a car that ran on something other than fossil fuels. How exactly did his car work? Stanley Meyer's water-powered car ran by splitting the water into its basic forms, two hydrogen atoms, one oxygen atom. This process is known as electrolysis. The hydrogen was then used as the fuel and burned, the oxygen exited through the exhaust. The difference between his invention and the modern hydrogen-powered car is that his ran on water and actually split the atoms. A modern hydrogen car runs on pure hydrogen. Stanley Meyer would go on to travel the country showing off his invention and even gained the interest of some investors. So where did it all go wrong? In 1996 many lawsuits were filed against Stanley Meyer, claiming that his invention was fraudulent. In these lawsuits, experts were hired to examine his technology and concluded that there wasn't anything revolutionary about his invention. The court then ordered Stanley Meyer to pay back his investors as it was concluded his invention was fraudulent. Now let's take a look at his controversial death. Stanley Meyer died on March 21, 1998. To this day many people believe he was murdered. The commonly told story goes like this. Stanley Meyer and his brother Stephen traveled to Honduras to meet with two Belgian investors. They meet for dinner and Stanley was allegedly poisoned. His brother Stephen says Stanley took a sip of cranberry juice. Then grabbed his neck, bolted out the door, dropped to his knees and vomited violently. I ran outside and asked him what's wrong, and he replied they poisoned me. After a full investigation, it was concluded that there was no foul play and that he had died of a cerebral aneurysm. Today all of Stanley Meyer's patents have expired and are in the public domain available for use. No major manufacturers have incorporated his work so far. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more short history videos.